Hi there, Finley. Since we're reading books about toys, cartoon Miss Kazmarek here to read you a chapter from your novel. Toys. Amazing stories behind some great inventions. Hot Wheels. Less than 10 years after the Mattel Toy Company introduced Ruth Handler's Barbie doll, her husband, Elliot, one of Mattel's founders, created Hot Wheels. What Elliot Handler had in mind were die-cast metal cars with working wheels covered with stirring, a type of plastic. Set in motion down a ramp, the car would then shoot around a track. He wanted the cars to be miniatures of real makes on the road. Fords, Chryslers, and Pontiacs, for example. Elliot put together a development team, a group of men and women who would work with him to make the prototype, the original working model. First, the team decided on the type of car to create in miniature. Because it was a fast sports car with sleek lines, they settled on the Chevy Camaro. After every detail of the full-size vehicle was photographed and measured, draftmen drew blueprints at 1 64th the size of the actual car. With the photographs and blueprints spread before him, an artist called a pattern maker carefully carved a wooden replica. To make it easier to work on, the replica was four times larger than the toy would be. From the wooden model of the Camaro, an epoxy, hard plastic, pattern was made. Then, using the pattern as a guide, master toolmakers fashioned steel molds in the shapes of the car's wheels, body, chassis, interior, and engine. Some of the molds were filled with molten metal, others with liquefied plastic, depending on the part being made. For example, plastic was used for the interior. Finally, the parts were painted, assembled, and tested. The end result was an exact miniature of a real Chevy Camaro. From the hubcaps to the door handles, every detail was the same. When the production team was ready with the prototype, they built on a demonstration for Elliot Handler. The, the toy car was everything he wanted, and more. With its low friction steering wheels, it could reach an estimated scale speed of 200 miles per hour as it shot down a steep track, powered by gravity and a later discontinued internal drive mechanism which was activated by pulling the car backward to rev it up. Seeing the car in action, Handler was amazed at its quality and speed. Using a 60s expression meaning, an extremely cool and fast car, he exclaimed, those are hot wheels. They're even hotter now. Today's hot wheels can be rocket launched by a slingshot. Pushing a release button sends the car racing on a wild ride around a track with more twists, curves, and loops than a roller coaster. Mattel also makes Hot Wheels for different age groups. They are simpler designs for younger children, older kids like do-it-yourself track systems, a kit containing track sections, connectors, and a launcher. Sales are as fast and impressive as the cars. Each year, more Hot Wheels roll off assembly lines than real Fords, Chryslers, and Pontiacs combined. Before there were Hot Wheels, there were die-cast metal cars. In 1945, Fred Ertl of Iowa became the first person to mass-produce toy farm equipment. Ertl, a German immigrant, first made them for his own children, then decided to go into business when he saw how much his kids loved the toys. Though the Hot Wheels prototype was a Chevy Camaro, the most popular car has long been the Corvette. The most valuable? It's the Volkswagen Surfer's Van. One in excellent condition is now worth up to $5,000. In the first year of production, 1968, Mattel produced a series of 16 Hot Wheels. 24 new cars were released the following year. Today, more than 700 car makes have been rendered into Hot Wheels, and others are on the way. In 1970, promotional Hot Wheels were made for the restaurant chain Jack in the Box. In 1985, Hot Wheels were given away as premiums in boxes of Kellogg's cereal. Over 2.5 million Hot Wheels are sold every week throughout the world. In 1971, motorcycles, trains, and airplanes were added to the Hot Wheels line. The first Hot Wheels helicopter hit the market in 1990. Though invented in the United States, Hot Wheels are no longer made in this country. In fact, they haven't been since 1971. All are manufactured overseas. Hot Wheel cars are produced at the rate of one per second. The one billionth Hot Wheels car was sold in 1991.